Is your dog a music lover? If so, are they more into hard rock? Reggae? Slow jams? Late romanticism? Strictly 80s Billy Joel? If your dog likes jazz, does that make them a cat? Whether or not your dog likes music might just depend on the music. Whether your dog understands music is a different question altogether. For both mankind and man's best friend, the first step towards understanding music is simply to hear it. And oh boy, can dogs hear. <laughs> it's common knowledge that dogs have hearing abilities that are super powered when compared to our own. But why is that? For one thing, the range of frequencies they register is immensely wider than ours. Whereas human ears perceive sound frequencies from about here to here, dogs' ears can pick up frequencies starting around here all the way up to about here. Some dogs can even hear as high as 60,000 hertz. And cats' ears can be even more astounding with some hearing frequencies all the way up to 80,000 hertz. These impressive hearing abilities are great for predators like cats and, well, some dogs, because it allows them to take in all the high-frequency chit-chat that's going on amongst their smaller rodent prey. But it's not just the overall perceived frequency range that differs from species to species. Our sensitivity is different, too. As humans, you and I are most sensitive to sounds that occur between two and 5,000 hertz. That's to say, if a sound is played within this range at the same level or amplitude as a sound outside of it, it will seem louder to us even when that's not actually the case. Whether there's an evolutionary cause for this is debated, but this happens to be right about the same frequency range that we find the sound of a vigorously crying baby. Meanwhile, the sweet spot or sensitive one for dog ears is around 3,000 hertz and above. Dogs can hear sounds between 3,000 and 12,000 hertz that are five to 15 decibels below the threshold of human hearing. And above that 12,000 range, their hearing is massively more sensitive than our own. This likely helped their wild ancestors hunt prey, or maybe to hear the whimpering of their own adorable offspring. This is all very interesting, but what does any of it have to do with music? Well, the fact is, for dogs and other animals, sounds just sound different. We're gonna do our best to approximate what it's like to listen to music as a dog. This isn't exactly rigorous science, but taking into account what we know about how dogs hear, we're gonna boost the frequencies from around 3,000 to 12,000 hertz, and above that 12,000 range, we're gonna crank it. This should give us at least a rough idea of what dogs experience. Okay, so music sounds generally a little different to dogs than it does to us, but do they understand it? Well, there are countless examples across the internet of pets and animals reacting positively, negatively, and sometimes quite passionately to music. But to keep things a little more academic, we looked into some of the numerous scientific studies that have investigated the varying effects of music on dogs and other animals. For instance, in one study, cows were shown to produce up to two additional liters of milk when exposed to slow classical music. Data collected from other studies suggest a bovine preference for slower tempos in general, even referencing specific songs, like this moody track by R.E.M. Everybody heard. Or this one by Simon and Garfunkel. These sorts of studies have some real economic benefit, but they're nothing new. This picture shows a group called the Ingenues serenading cows as they're being milked at the University of Wisconsin in 1930, all for the sake of science. 
Over the years, countless other species have been subjected to music in the name of research. When rats were injected with tumor cells in an experiment in Spain in 2002, music exposure enhanced their immune systems and anti-tumor response. In 2008, scientists discovered that the works of both Mozart and Leggetti had measurable physiological effects on hypertensive rats at a lab in Germany. And it seems rodents aren't the only non-human connoisseurs of Wolfgang's work. In 2011, a study in Spain found that baby chickens who listened to Mozart grew up to be more symmetrical and had better white blood cell levels than their less cultured counterparts who had not been exposed to the music. A 2019 study in China showed that piglets prefer string music to be slow and wind instruments fast when given the option. There are even legitimate studies touting that monkeys like older pop, light jazz, baboons are partial to golden oldies of the 1950s, and chimps prefer down-tempo vocal music like Enya and even Pavarotti. But let's get back to your dog. There's an entire industry built around canine music consumption. Countless albums and YouTube channels claim the music they offer can improve your dog's behavior and ease their psychological strain. But does any of this stuff actually work? Or is it just snake oil? Hello. Well, in 2020, researchers at the University of Sydney in Australia reviewed nine different experiments from across the globe, testing for the therapeutic effect of music on dogs. They concluded that exposure to classical music does appear to have a calming influence on dogs in stressful environments. Going on to say that these perceived benefits are present whether or not the music was specifically designed for dogs' ears. They also pointed out that thus far, credible research on the topic has been limited. Before accepting any findings as conclusive and indisputable, more rigorous studies should be conducted. In the meantime though, you can definitely turn up some Bach for Barkley and let him relax. Ah, such sweet counterpoint. But wait, we weren't trying to figure out whether listening to music is or isn't good for our four-legged friends. Though it certainly seems that it is, and that's excellent news, we wanted to know whether your dog understands the music they hear. So to that end, and at the risk of oversimplifying, let's say music at its core really comes down to varying pitch and varying rhythm. And on that note, we present two true internet legends, honorable hounds of sound, the capable canines, Indigo and Bailey, who will serve as evidence that dogs have a cognizance of both pitch and rhythm, and therefore an overall understanding of music. I present to you Exhibit A. If you want, what's that? Oh! Yes, this is a good girl. It's perfect. There we go. Oh! Yes, a good girl. Oh! Indigo's intonation is pitch perfect, or at least very close. And as evidence of rhythmic awareness, exhibit B, B for Bailey. head nod is right in the pocket. So sure, why not? We'll go ahead and say it. Dogs understand music. Certainly not on the same level as a classical scholar with a lifetime of ear training and practice on their instrument, but can they enjoy it as much as an average Joe cruising down the highway blaring Taylor Swift's latest hit? Absolutely. At the end of the day, one thing we know for certain is that like us, dogs are individuals with unique personalities. So as to whether or not your dog likes music, it's hard to say, since we've never met the guy. You may have to make a dog-friendly playlist that you and your best bud can rock out to. And if your pup does have a favorite song or artist or even genre, let us know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, share it with another music or dog-loving friend and subscribe to our channel to see more music-related content in the future.